I'm Leslie Nordia and this is your Headlines with the North Coast Courier. On our front page this week, local business cries foul as the closure of beaches enters its third month at the end of this week. Tourism affected businesses are reporting cancellations and devastatingly low numbers as beach loving tourists begin to look elsewhere. The reopening of beaches is being held up by the Forestry, Fisheries and Environmental Department, which is investigating the safety of the water after the burning of a warehouse caused a chemical spill in July. Reporter Jean Venter looks at the effect this is having on local tourism. On page three, reporter James Anderson visits Belito Taxi Rank to speak to vendors and commuters. Four years since the rank was opened, the public remain at the mercy of the elements. Kwadakusa municipality says that they simply do not have the money for phase two of the taxi rank, which includes shelters for commuters. Also on page three, Arcus, the residential developer responsible for launching Belito Village, will be installing new water, electrical and road infrastructure in accordance with their agreement with Kwadakusa Municipality. The road upgrades will include the widening of the M4, which have begun in earnest this week. Other great stories to look out for include the opening of the studios at Belito Lifestyle Center, the Miss Belito cocktail party, and Belito fitness instructor, 62-year-old Lizzie Diaga, whose life is proof of the idiom, age is but a number. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for daily breaking news.